Welcome to Atlanta, Georgia, site of the 1996 Olympic Games, Center Park Stadium, and home to the Georgia State Panthers. And we have been feeling the excitement for this one all week. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see, the Yukon Huskies taking on a team from the Sun Belt, the Georgia State Panthers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Georgia State will kick it off to get this game started. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Huskies' offense will start this game off. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. Yeah, receivers don't usually lack confidence, and those are the guys that kind of set the tone, and that swagger sets the tone for this offense, and Jesse, you know he's going to make plays. And that speed scares defenses, too, because he can take the top off quick. These safeties better get back deep, or else this guy's going to take it to the house. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. So already they've hit a speed bump on this opening drive. It's third and eight. To the air, it's Fangnano setting up the screen. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And they're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. So the Georgia State Panthers offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Fleming. Shakes off the defender. And that is a nifty bit of navigation to get through that traffic and get the first down. That's what tight ends are supposed to do. Just have People bouncing off them like spitballs off a battleship. And when you're a defense, you got to understand, we got to swarm to the football because these big dudes, they break tackles, and they can get loose if we're not tackling with multiple guys. Nice effort by the big fella. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. Georgia State ready to go with another first and ten. Might as well give it to him again. At the 35, he's loose. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. This defense is going to have to do a better job slowing down the run. We've seen twice now in this opening drive. This guy break one. And so this defense has to do a better job at the point of attack, and their D coordinator probably is already thinking to himself, do I have to get another guy in the box to slow this guy down? They'll throw it on first down. Unleashes one deep. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. 
And you want these guys that can take the top off a of defense. It changes the way they're going to play coverage on you, and he does it right here. Just runs by the DB. He had no chance to try to catch up with him. Makes the big play down the field. And this will change the way you play defense against this guy the rest of the game. He'll try to tack on one more. And the PAT makes it 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. UConn going back to work on offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive. He's off to the races. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. How many ways... Can I get it to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers, and let them make big plays? This is another one you've seen. Catch the football, flip it ahead really quickly, get it to a burner, go in full speed across the formation. He gets the edge, makes the big play. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Well, you got to give the defense a lot of credit on this play because they were doing a nice job understanding who had the football and where they were. So a nice job by the defense rallying around that ball carrier and now not giving up the first down. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Let's see what they do here on third and short from the 41. Looking for a man. It's Fagnano. Pressure coming. And he can't escape, and down he goes. It's such an advantage for a defense when you can add to your pass rush by blitzing guys, but especially when you've got a middle linebacker like that that can collapse and push the pocket into the lap of the quarterback. UConn will have to punt it away. What a terrible, terrible shank. It'll go out of bounds, and we'll see where they mark it. It's going to be right around the 35. This drive will get underway from just inside the 35 at their own 34. Fires to the big fella. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. That's the end of the quarter. Georgia State has the lead here. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. He'll do it himself. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. In an offense, if you're going to be successful running the ball, and I don't care who it is carrying it, you've got to have receivers that are willing to block. You've got to have guys that are willing to get involved. How about the receiver here on the stock block going and picking off that safety? It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. The give on the inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile he was on radar lock he found the football and flew down with some bad intentions after losing a couple on that last play here's second and 12. motion from the offense 
He wants to pass it on second down. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. I think if you're the quarterback moving forward, you need to start thinking about hot routes to your tight ends and to your running backs because of this outside linebacker. He's a guy that has shown the knack to get after the QB. When he comes blitzing, you need to have an outlet throw in your back pocket. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. He's looking downfield to throw. He tries to take the top off. And he's got it inside the 35. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Panthers want to pick up the tempo. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you could tell he extends for the ball, but... Great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Out of the gun, the inside give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D-linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Another first down. Man, this, this defense this defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. And the Panthers come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll keep it himself. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Well, I'll tell you what, just watching this QB in the run game, he's going to break one at some point in this game. He is going to break a home run. Defense did a nice job getting him down there, but this guy, I'm telling you, he's just a play away from taking it to the house. Keep letting this guy do his thing. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. He's looking to throw. Fires into the end zone. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. You know, it's a good decision by the QB because his intended target wasn't open, so throw it out of bounds, and you can live to play another day here on this drive. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A 67-yard touchdown drive there, and they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. The UConn offense goes back to work. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. So you got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. Looking for a man. It's Fangano. Throws to the tight end. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. I think when you go through these progressions as a quarterback, you want to find the right guy to throw to, obviously. I just, I didn't think he was the right guy. I didn't think he was really that open. And listen, he sailed and he overthrew it, but I might have surveyed the middle of the field a little bit better there. 
Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. UConn will have to punt it away. Now a fair catch is called for and made just shy of midfield. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Looking to move it through the air. With the catch, it's Hurst. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Caught near the sticks. It's Hurst. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Yeah, and you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. They're down to the 35 on first and 10. He wants to throw. Pulls it in. It's Fleming. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleeding. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Safe completion on the screen. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Well, this offense will screen you in a variety of ways. They'll throw receiver screens, tight end screens. The running back screen also a big part of what they like to do like you just saw there. They'll go with the five wide out set on second and seven. He's looking to throw. He's got it and still on his feet. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Offense calls a timeout here, critically important to make sure they have the right play called and everyone on the same page here. Wants to throw on third down. Gets it out fast. He's run out of bounds, but they've got it now first and goal. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Georgia State comes to the line with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. Didn't make them sweat at all. It's good. And now the lead is extended a little further. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Atlanta. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Center Park Stadium.
They're lining up to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, the Georgia State offense returns to the field. They'll open the second half on the ground. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Fires to the tight end. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. From the gun to give, looking for room. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. He lobs one high down the left side. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. And that's an incompletion and really poor accuracy by the quarterback there. When you're throwing the ball down the field, you don't need to make it perfect, but you do got to put it somewhere around your receiver. You got to give him an opportunity to go up and make a play for you. Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop grabbed over the middle it's Hurst that'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43 yard line he might have expected to see this DB up in his receivers kitchen instead nice little zone and they pick up the first man offenses are getting so good Reese at seeing the holes in the zone knowing you're in zone knowing where to sit down how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback and that's what it was on third and short receiver looks it in it's complete Makes a catch and knock down. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. And here comes the offense on second down. Wide out in motion. Looking to throw it again. Caught in the backfield, it's Williams tackled immediately after the catch i really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness and you see that on his route running really really nice job creating separation for his qb this will be the seventh play of the drive and they need to convert third and six from the gun wants to pass grab near the marker it's hurst there to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. A great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. Georgia State ready to go with another first and ten. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Sweet cut there. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. In halftime in this locker room, there was a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. Able to get one down to the 15. They're strong, and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Give to the back. 
Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He caught it. Stopped at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. How valuable is a tight end in the red area? Now they're set up with a first and goal. I love it. Find the big fella down in the red area. Big target, works the middle of the field, easier throws. Nice job by this offense, keeping it very simple. That's the end of the quarter. Georgia State has the lead here. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. The Panthers have it with a first and goal. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Touchdown, Georgia State. And the punishment has been extended. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And they closed it going up top for the final few inches and the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. UConn going back to work on offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there. you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Finds a tight end. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Finds his man, it's Sheffield. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Snagged in the middle, it's Harris. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Well, this offense has not put their best product on the field today. They've got no points to show for any of their efforts so far, but they've still got a chance. But if it's going to happen, it has to happen now in this two-minute situation. This is where their playmakers need to step up. They're going to throw it again. Zings it complete to the right. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. 
Man, you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Scanning the field, it's Fangnano. He's got his man. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync, and that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. In second and ten, he'll throw again. The quick out. And he's knocked down immediately, but a good pickup on that play. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Here they come up to the 23-yard line, not thinking field goal, wanting to convert this third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Makes the grab, and it's plenty for the first down. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now a fresh set of downs. He caught it! On oh, the defense, shoves him out of bounds at the two. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over college football, short to intermediate. So if they can find some of this, it'll help their offense moving forward. Back to throw, it's Fagnano. And he will score! Touchdown, Huskies! Play the analytics here, and you go for two. Wants to pass. He's got it. Two-point conversion is good. Just a couple of possessions down, so there is some hope. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Georgia State takes over, ready to send out the offense. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? They'll run it. They want to take their time here. 
just outside the red zone as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 22. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. And the Panthers have it with a first and 10. And with things in their favor on the scoreboard, the quarterback's favorite play in the playbook, the old kneel down from victory formation. 